presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, vous We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We appreciate uh, you growling on problem with us. Yeah, 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 sir. I've done gold reports and all the software and all your books and a generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Love is the medicine that accelerates healing. Love yourself, love your neighbor, love your enemies, but begin with self-love. You cannot love others until you love yourself. You cannot share what you do not have if you do not have if you do not love yourself, you cannot love anyone else either. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ up 76, S&P's up two and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down $19.30 at 1846 an ounce. We have silver down uh, 24 cents, 21 dollars 62 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off a half a buck, trading at 78. 54 notes and bonds. The 10 year note down nine ticks, trading 112.01. The 30 year off 23 at 126.08. And King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 683 ticks at 103.916. The euro is at 106. The yen's at 120. And the British, the yen's at one, sorry, the yen's at 134. And the pound's at 120 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a sideways day in the S&Ps. We're going to bring up first. I'm going to bring up the futures. So let's see where we're going to land here. Speculate where we're going to land for the day. So we take a look at the futures out here. And so yesterday, there was quite a consolidation yesterday, huh? <laughs> so let's take a look at this. Oh, so we're going lower. Okay, so... Bottom line is that we got up to the price point uh, out here this morning, just about 20, 30 minutes ago, of 41.54. And then what you're going to see here, right that bar right there, the acceleration on the bar, that's the seller, man. Um, and then what we have, so this is going to get interesting, man, because we have, we're at 4148. This could be at 4131 before we close. You know, and where I'm going with this, folks, I'm taking the high of that high volume bar. See, the, the, we have a high volume bar there at 940 this morning, uh, 10, 10, 10 this morning. So if it comes back down, the first pass it would stop is the high of the low, but that high volume low will get tested. Doesn't have to be today, but it will get tested. Let's go right to the NQs. We'll take a look at the NQs. So we take a look at the NQs because it's going to make a big difference as to where we close out here today. So if we take a look at the NQs, that got over the highs of yesterday. You don't have any juice up there, though, man. Nope. Hey, we'll see where this shakes up. So the NQs were 12, 691. So 12, 672 is what it's going to try to get into in the next 10, 15 minutes. If it gets into it, then that, that basically says it can come all the way back down the other end. So it's going to be kind of, it's a great trade market. That's the bottom line. We go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract wants to run down to the 1795 area. Um, you're at 1846 right now. You know you're gonna, you're gonna there's you know 160,000 contracts here. Um, you know we'll see up where the shakes out, but this is where the gold run started the last time we were going up in October. Uh, you know it consolidated a bit, then we made the run all the way up, and I suspect we're making this all the way back. Notes and bonds. Now, this is what's running the market as well as the dollar. And, um, you know, inflation's not going away, folks, okay? So, bottom line, it's not even close either. It blows my mind that they, <laughs> they, and we'll talk about this in a second, but it's just, anyway. The 10-year, 
the 10 years wants to go hit 110. And at 110, that's going to be how we, where we got, came off the lows. Okay, you can see yesterday, man, that was a monster 2.4 million contracts. Forget it. You were going into 1.3. The 110 is right where we actually took off from where the strength came in last time we were down there. So I expect it's going to get down there. The, the thing that is um, that this could go a lot lower, when you get a day like yesterday, going into that swing, cracking the swing, and have that type of volume, it's like, okay, game is on, and that day game could be a lot lower. Price, a lot higher yield. We go to the dollar, and it's all about the dollar. The dollar, bottom line, you know, it's come off the lows. The low that we're talking about is two weeks ago. That was the 100.82, you're at 103. And where I'm going with this, I'm just saying, hey, listen, man, you do a dead cap bounce, it's 106 to 107. You can see that a 0.382 is 106. 550, you know, the 107 is a 50% retracement, 107, 799, and that is also where ice is. That's where it dropped down. So, you know, my take is that that's where we're going, and if that's correct in the assessment that that's where we're going, you are going to see more damage inside the marketplace. Um, you know, market hasn't done anything out here today. You know, that's the bottom line. That, what, what is happening here now in the market is like a, a slow sideways to lower prices. You know, it looks like nothing happens and then all of a sudden you another leg down. It looks like you consolidate and it's trying to get higher and you get another leg down. That's kind of where this thing is shaking out right now. You know, you bring this back, the SPY couldn't make its highs. You know, it certainly got over its last swing high. The last swing high we are talking about in the SPY was that 410 area. And, you know, the longer it stays over 410, that, that's, that's a good situation. But the bottom line is that I suspect that, you know, it's the slow bleed on the way down. We take a look at the, the Qs, you know, the, the Qs, same deal. The Qs couldn't get to the high. I mean, you know, six months ago, you're at 330, you're at 308. Uh, it's certainly in a new range, though. Anything over the 296 gets you the new range. And, you know, yesterday, that was a good day for the Qs yesterday. You know, the, contra the contraction on volume today is not a good day. We're going to take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You get uh, Tesla's up a buck and a half. You get uh, Roblox is up nine bucks. They come out with numbers. Alphabet's up a buck. No big deal there. You have, uh, there's the Airbnb. Airbnb's up. That's up $17.31. That's a big, big number out there. Trade Desk. Uh, $13. We go inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Airbnb up 14%, Rivian up 7 uh, ADI up 6 taken away from it. Biogen down 4.3%, Fang off 3.2%, uh, GFS 2.8%, and Pindo Duel is down 1.8%. Uh, Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 48, Nasdaq's up 70, S&P's off of one and a half, we'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down 47. You get the NASDAQ up 66. S&Ps are at uh, flat. Let's go take a look at uh, AutoNation here. Let's see what we got. Auto. Okay, so <clears throat> they're trading 140. The low for the year is 94. The high is 140. They're coming out with their numbers uh, Friday before the open. Let's see what they're looking for here. They're looking for $6.5 billion, top line, $5.82 bottom line. Okay, so they've had quite a run here, man. So in three months, the stocks run from 95 to 140. So you're at the highs. I get this back now. A couple years. So you can see what has happened is this. Now, I'm going to show you this on a couple of this, too. So it, this has been a high-end consolidation going all the way back to uh, September of 2021. And if you, if you take a look at this, watch this. Your, your first high, well, coming up to that. No, I won't count that one. The first high here had 7.5 million. The next one. 4 million, the next one, 2.9, and then we just did three points, we did uh, 4.1. But the 4.1 is still dealing with 7.5. You know, I wouldn't be owning it here, I tell you that. Wouldn't be owning it. Let me show you something, I wanna show you this on ExxonMobil too. Cause this is what Exxon did. You know, it, it looked like it was gonna break and then it just gave it up again. And it has to do with these highs you know, it didn't have the juice, and then bottom line, it got the juice, and then gave it up. It's back inside the range. So you got to be careful of those, man. Let's go to Shopify. Shopify, uh, I believe that's going to be coming out in numbers. Maybe after the close today. Let's see. So that's coming up after, after the close today. The low, the low for this is 23. The high is 89. They don't make money. I don't think they're going to say they're going to try either. No, it's still good. They, this is going to be, let's see, they're going to, they're, going to, they're looking to do 1.6 billion and take in uh, a lose 2.5 cents. So if we take a look, I wouldn't touch Shopify. That's the bottom line. Um, 
you know, when you, when you look at it like this, it's not a bad looking stock. So it's like, okay, five months, you've gone from 23 to 53. And it's like, why? Okay. <laughs> you just, you just, you just went up what? 130% and you're still going to lose money. And it's not as clear on the daily as then you put it on a weekly or a monthly and this thing is coming right into this monster volume. And I just, I suspect what's going to happen is that you're going to have to build more cars in order to get off this low. It's, 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 building, it's building a base to get off the low. There's no doubt about that. That's what it is doing. Let's go take a look at PLTR. PLTR. See what we got here. PLTR. Oh, Plantera. Okay, technologies. The lows, 584. The highs, 1486. Uh, I think they just, do they just come out with numbers? Okay, so let's just take a look at this. Yeah, so this is the one they just popped. They just come out today, actually. Well, this is a start. I mean, you know, you're, you're getting over the consolidation, so this probably will run to, what number is that? That's 1057. Yeah, I mean, this... This is a good setup right now. You know, we'll see how it can handle your swing point here. Now, now check this out. This is going to be really important. Your swing point is eleven dollars and sixty-two cents. That number at eleven sixty-two is going to be crucial because that would be the first swing point that it actually took out on the way up. And you have to take out a swing point, folks, with volume. Well, listen, you don't have to take it out with volume when you've had a downdraft that's has been that dramatic. You definitely have to take it out and close above it in order to basically have a decent speculation that the stock wants to go higher. Because what I've seen, when, when equities just keep going down, 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 and they do a get dead cat bounce and they can't take out that swing point, they just keep going south. That's the bottom line. So the CPI came out yesterday, and the thing that I just want to talk about for a few minutes is that, you know, this is just a common sense deal, folks, okay? But if you weren't around in the last inflation era, it's harder to comprehend, like the, you know, because that was so long ago. And it amazes me that, you know, you can have Fed governors, you can have, you know, people that are very well attuned, um, thinking that inflation is just going to go away after like, you know, six months, a year, year and a half. That's not how inflation goes. What, what happens and what did happen is that the acceleration in prices, almost, what, a year ago now, right, went up about almost 30% in some things. I mean, you, you know, we're talking about small numbers here, but the reality is that the acceleration up was fast and furious. So from that point on, it's like, okay, we're still hitting from that point on, a 5.7 or 6.4. They're looking for a two. We're not going to have a two. Uh, my, 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 my deal, we're not going to see a two for a long period of time. And I'm talking four or five years. And there's a lot of different reasons. The main reason is once it, inflation is in the system, all of us conceptually turn around and first you fight it, then you realize that everything's going up, so then you are buying things and you're paying the price. And as soon as you pay the price, it gets it entrenched. And the biggest part that is happening in inflation is that it goes into the wages. So once it goes into the wages, right, the bottom line is that it's in the wages and wages don't back down. That's how it goes. So little by little, it gets weaned off, and it does get weaned off when they can get a recession going. And it's good, you know, the retail sales come out. It's evident that it's going to take a lot more squeezing in order to get the recession going, in order to pull this back. My take is that we're in an inflationary year. I mean, you know, this is going to be two or three more years. That's, that's how it shakes out. And the real question is, is that, you know, does it keep accelerating? Which it could. That's not a big deal, man. Do you know what I mean? Because picture this. If you have a small business and you're looking at your bills, say, okay, can I go up another 5 to 
My take is that if you're going to go up, <laughs> you're going to you're going to go up the number that you really think you need in order to stay in business to make sure that everyone's getting paid that you have a business. And you know, when that happens, you know, that affects everything, right? The, you know, it affects the demand, it affects what people can afford. Um, you know, and that's where we're at, man. You know, all and all is, you don't need technicals. And all you have to do is look around, man. You go shopping. That's all you have to do. Go in a few stores and go shopping. You'll get the blunt of it. You know, and what to do, you know what to do? Get cash. Don't use your credit card. Get cash and then start putting cash out. That'll 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 snap your head in like real quick. That oh, where's they all oh, gone? Stay right there, folks. We're coming back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 42. You get the NASDAQ up 64. S&P's off one and a half. Let's go uh, inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. So point-wise out here today, what you have... Caterpillar's putting 26 positive points, Goldman 13, uh, Home Depot 12. Taken away from it, uh, Microsoft, minus 26. Chevron, no, yeah, Chevron. Uh, Chevron 23, United Health uh, 20, uh, Johnson Johnson 14. No big deal uh, inside of the um, Dow Industrials, really. I mean, that, that's, that's minimum. Uh, let's go take a look at a couple, of the, a couple of the big dogs out here. We'll start with the Amazon. Okay, so you back down a bit. See, Amazon's got this nice high volume high, man, which is really pretty cool. And that, that's that's the, at the 114 here at 100. The real question with Amazon is that, let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, well, uh, this, is a, this is a decent setup with Amazon, man. You know, we'll see how this week finishes, but if this can finish over 
at 98.37 this week. That's, that'll be a decent setup. We go on to Apple. You know what the thing is amazing, folks? This, this, is, this is wild what actually happens. So Apple, oh, this is, so look at Apple's going to try to test this high volume high. So Apple's up, up today. It has a high volume high that's laying out there at 157. And so it, it always seems, right? So this is what's really was. So, so watch this. See this? Apple, Meta, Amazon, and Microsoft CEOs subpoenaed by the House panel. This is going to be all about, you know, antitrust and all the rest of it. The thing that's amazing to me, like, how does this work that every, not every time, but when there are large downdrafts, folks, it's, this is what it seems like. Now, these equities have been going down for a year, okay? But what seems to happen, and I remember this in 2007, I remember this in 2000, 1999, when it seems that they, when they're going down, then all of a sudden, all the political pressure comes on on top of it. And it's like, man, it's so wild. Like, and the increments are, are that long. The increments are 10, 15 years, 10, 15 years at a time. And the same thing happens with the chips. What happens with the chips is that everyone loves the chips. They forget that they're a commodity. Then it ends up, okay, now they're a commodity and they go downtown. It's, there's, it's just a cycle after a cycle after a cycle. That's kind of where we're at. Let's go to the oil market, take a look at the oil market right now. So you get oil in, in a consolidation. It's been in this consolidation you know, for quite some time right now. We take a look at this and bring it all the way back to November. You know, we'll see where this shakes out. You're down 52 cents today, no big deal. You get 250,000 contracts traded, you know, what you have here is that you have a high volume low now, though, in the, in the futures contract. So this wants to go back to $72. Uh, let's go to silver. We take a look at the silver market. Silver out here, that's trading down 25 cents. Now, this is back to one sign of strength. There's this 53,000 contracts here. Let's, let's take a look at this. Okay, so... 2138, that's where silver broke topside from in May. So what's going to be cool about this is watching silver and see if it breaks and gets under 2143, closes under that. We got to 2138 today. The reason that's important, folks, is this, is that that will send it in another range. That'll send it all the way down uh, into, bottom line, you know, 1823. You know, so that's pretty intense. Okay, did I do? I thought I did PTO. We go take a look at Google. And Google, of course, is getting pressure from two different things. Getting pressure from the government and then also getting pressure from uh, chat GBT. So, Google. Yeah, Google wants a lower price. Google's not down. This is pretty intense, too. You're down from $151. You're at 96. You get a swing low out here at 83. And you see this last, yeah, last month is bad, man. You're down on volume. You know, it's trying to basically develop some kind of a base where we are right now. But that's, that's trouble in paradise, man. We get over to the uh, GDX. We take a look at the GDX. GDX right now, so that's down 94 cents here, 28, 69. You get a high volume at 28.31. So that's the first place you really want to look at how it's going to react. Because if, if it comes underneath that number, it'll go all the way back down to 25.04. And if we get there with light volume, that's going to be the buy and a half, man. That's the bottom line. That's how this is. A, and I suspect what you've heard me many times say, I think the way this whole thing is shaken out is this. And this is including the broad market. This is including the broad market. This is including commodities. This is including the whole ball of wax. The 10-year is trying to get down to the 110 area. The 110 area is going to put the 10-year back over 4%. If that's where we go, you're going to see the dollar go to the 106, 107 area. If we get both of those, and then as the market is pulling back, I suspect you're going to get a contraction. 
And the real kicker there is going to be, I think that's going to be the buy. And the real question when that happens is that, is that like June to July? Because we're already, you know, in the middle of February. That's, <laughs> these, you know, two or three months go, go to blink. The, the trading's a little bit different. People are going to get more used to the aspect of higher rates. If we take a look at the Fed meetings, what you're going to see. So we're at 4.50 to 5.2 to 4.75. So February, March 22nd is the next meeting, May 3rd and June 14th. And the way this is going right now, folks, okay, you'll get a quarter point each time. We will be, that's a 0.75. And the ironic thing about this, you know, is that when this started, okay, and when 0.4.575 at the top end, you know, if you go back and listen to one of the first, you know, speeches or statements by Powell, they were looking at five to five and a quarter. Well, that's going to be five and a half. The 10 year will be five and a half. Now, that's going to put rates up pretty dramatically when the 10 years at five and a half. But that's where I think we're going, man. You know, this could, when you actually look forward, this could accelerate up to there. The worst of the case probably is that you're coming down over the summer, you make some kind of a bottom in September, and then we go from there. You know, because at some point everyone's going to get used to higher rates. Uh, that's just how it goes. Okay, the, that's that's just how it goes, man. There's going to be more cash to utilize, and there's going to be less expensive prices in some areas. You know, the, it's happening already. Meaning. And larger, Canada's getting, you know, Canada had one of the best real estate markets in the world. Uh, bottom line is that they get an average price down of 15% now. That's an average. When you get an average price down of 15%, that means that uh, if you're on the streets, you know, housing is down 30, 35%. Because when you hear, when I hear some of these numbers sometimes, uh, even the 2007, 2008, they're saying, yeah, you, you know, you went back 25%. 25%, man, there was, there was, there was some houses, okay, that... <laughs> You know, we're down 75%. Dow, Dow Industrials up 16, Nasdaq's down 76, S&P's up 4. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow's off 34. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 66. S&Ps are uh, up two. And if we take a look at the volumes here, you're going to have... Yeah, you'll be about 800 million in the NYSE. And in the composite, we are going to be running... Oh, look at that composite. That's, that's going to be good, though, because the composite's down. So we're only at 4.1. Let me look at this. We're at 4.1 billion. The composite, that's saying the composite's going to come in only at like 4.5 or something. Oh, but we know we're up. No, that's not good. Well, it's not, it's, it's, it's not good if you're a bull, because now you're going higher with a huge contraction of volume. Let me look at this again. Okay, so... Yeah, you're at 4.1 billion. And that's saying that, uh, okay, so we're going to do about 4.5, 4.6. And that's why the, you see the contraction also in the queues. The contraction of the queues is also a big problem. You know, that, that's how that baby sh is shaking out right now. Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, FCX, okay? So you got Freeport Mac Moran. I believe they had come out with numbers. Yeah, they, they come out with their numbers. That's trading down 71 cents. That's, that's staying above the, the higher range, man. Anything above the $40.60, you're in that higher range. Take this, put this back. Yeah, this is going to be build. This is going to build costs to get that high. And you can see what it's trying to do right now. And the big downdraft that was out there in March went from 51 to 41. That's what that that's where that is building cause, uh, trying to build cause. Let's put it that way, uh, in order to get to higher price. SCCO, we go into the copper market, let's say, well, actually, HG, let me go into the copper market first. So if we take a look at copper, okay, so this is not bad. Copper is also in the larger, yeah, a lot of volume today, though, it's interesting. So this actually was coming down pressing with volume so it's going to be back down tomorrow we'll see whether uh, you know it, it, it has a break what we have you know when we talk inflation like the the shipping numbers so picture this this, this is all those numbers have come down dramatically folks i mean dramatically right now shanghai to tampa three thousand bucks shanghai to tampa a year ago fourteen thousand five hundred dollars that's that's the difference in pricing right now Okay, there's, there's plenty, the supply lines are opened up, there's plenty of ships, there's plenty of everything, okay? Um, you know, and you see, the problem is, is that when you add, well, when you're paying 14000 yeah, that adds a huge amount, you know, to your material costs, no doubt about that. Um, but you still got to remember, it's not as much as basically wages, that, that's, that's how this thing shakes out. Once it's into that, the bottom line, it's going to be here for a while. The real question is, is that, you know, does it say it's 6.5%? Because 6.5% for a few years in a row <laughs> is going to be about as intense as you can get. I mean, that, that is one huge number. 
Let's go take a look at uh, Southern Copper, SCCO. You get the lows 42, the high 79. This is trading $75, 10 cents. Yeah, this wants to break top side too. This has been a, this, copper still wants to go higher, man. This is, yeah, look at this setup. This has been a monster consolidation. It's already eaten into the top bar. You had volume last month, wasn't bad, it came up. So this thing does want to go test that uh, 8312. And this right here is paying a 5.3% dividend. Let's go take a look at uh, Verizon. So Verizon, the lows 32, the highs 55. They pay a 6.4% dividend. What's happening, there's gonna be another big dog fight here, folks, uh, because I believe, let's see, this is, yeah, so here's the, their Verizon's, they're gonna start a whole nother war. Internet providers are doubling their fastest speeds, making two gigabit offers in their newest battle fan. Verizon Communication on Wednesday followed Comcast uh, as the latest broadband provider to turn up the speed on internet service with an offer to attract bigger spending customers who want more robust service. Starting this week, homes and business in New York City, Colorado Springs, West Palm Beach, uh, eligible for uh, the two gigabyte per second internet service. The plan started at 99 bucks uh, with a bundle. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, the, the bottom line is that speeds are gonna continue to get much bigger, folks. And, you know, that's what we all need. There's no doubt about it. Quicker, quicker speeds uh, is totally uh, where it's at out here. Let's go take a look at the platinum market. Because platinum is back under a thousand. Here we go. So we're at 918. This is down from 1115. Okay, so see, this is going to be cool just to really get a gauge of the rest of these metals, too, because this already bypassed. It's right at it, actually. It's set up a little bit differently. Well, let's look at this. So you're at 9. Oh, yeah, you're in the lower range, man. 935 was the top of the range of the, you know, and then it busted into the range. So that puts game on again at 929, you know. So that's that's saying, the, the way these markets are trading are saying that the bottom line is that this dollar wants to continue to go higher. What you're going to basically face is that um, heavy pressures in the equity market as well as the, the, the commodity market. Let's go to Airbnb. That they certainly got a pop. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what they have to say. They up sixteen bucks. I, you look at this. See, you look at yesterday. So it was pushing into the swing with volumes. So they got an ABC up. So let's see what it is. One twenty-one. Oh, it's a big one. It's forty bucks, man. That's 146. 146 is the A to B equals C to D. And right now we are at uh, 137. You know? So there. Actually, let's see what they have to say. Because this is where the, the travel folks, if you, if, you, if you broke down the CPI, I had, had the CPI. Um, if you broke down that CPI, in the breakdown, you're going to see airlines, folks, their prices went up 100%. 100%. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Airbnb surged the most since 2021 after the company's outlook uh, beat analyst expectations. San Francisco company expected sales of uh, $1.75 billion to $1.82. And the expect that's a lot of money. The expectation was only one68 Um DVN, don't touch this stock. Uh, I was looking at this earlier because I heard calls uh, coming in. Uh, this is Devron Energy. It's down $6.60. It's breaking the swings. It has volume, breaking the swings. Um, yeah, this thing is going south in a big way. So if we take a look at this, you know, the, the, the bottom of the consolidation on this is 48. We had 57. So you can see the volume is accelerating. It'll get down there. If it breaks that, then... 
going into a whole nother range. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 18, NASDAQ up 77, S&P's uh, uh, up 4. If we take a look at this, the Qs look to me like they're going to hold price. The... Yeah, they're going to hold price over the high, so they can go higher. So that means that we can go attack that that high volume inside the the queues, which is that that three thirteen. Now that being said, this is where this gets wild, man, because if we bring up the composite, ah, the composite might be there. Look at the man; they can put a lot of the, the composite might be there. We'll we'll see when I do the update, because we're at four point three now. So that gets at the four point eight, four point nine. That's saying that it will go after that swing point. Uh, we go take a look at the uh, the S and P's here at uh, the Dow's at 548 right now. So at 548, you're, you're going to be somewhere in the context of 850, you know, and more than likely. So today's Wednesday. So more than likely, what you're going to see, you're going to see a little positive news. It's going to go up there, try to spike it. And what ends up happening, of course, is that as it gets up to that level, what are you going to watch? You want to watch, number one, the price and then the volume. Because if it's going to be successful, you can have an expansion of volume and will hold price. If it's a failure on price and volume, you'll get into the price, you'll go over it, you'll back down, and you'll have lighter volume. And all that's going to do is send it right back down the other side. That's, 
That's how these things go, man. And, you know, this thing isn't even close to being done. Not even close either. Because when you're in an environment that interest rates are going up and you're at 6.4 in the CPI, you know, you don't have PEs that, some of these PEs you still, well, just shop after the close here. They, they don't even have a PE because they're still losing money. That's not how it works, folks. <laughs> That's just not how it works. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Great to be back with you. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show. Go get him, folks. <laughs>